Welcome to G-Learning podcast number 10. I know a lot of teachers who use teachers apps. Sometimes these apps are quite pricey. With Google tools, you can easily create your own customized teacher application for free. In this video, I would like to show you how to supercharge your Google Sheets, Gradebook and create a teacher's application with Sheets and other Google tools. When I started using Google Sheets for my Gradebook, it was pretty simple at first, mostly a table with different tasks, test results, as well as the final grade. The next logical step is to use Sheets calculation power to automatically calculate points, percentages, grades and averages. Most of this is pretty straightforward and can be done by inserting simple formulae such as sums and averages. If you use the VLOOKUP formula, you can create a grading key for which you can define ranges and numerical or alphabetical grades. All of the formulae I use here can be found in the sample sheet for which there's a link in the description. Contact management. If you create a table with all your contact information, you can export it to Gmail or Outlook and create mailing lists for entire classes or groups of students. Here is how to do it. The important thing is that you correctly label the headers in the top row. Then you download the table as a CSV file and import it to Gmail. Now you can send email to a student or the whole group, which you can give your own name, of course. If you want to have birthdays available in Google Calendar, you have to check contacts, birthday and other calendars. Google Sheets comes in handy also for creating checklists. If you use data validation, you can create drop-down lists with check marks and crosses, for example. Importing photos is a bit cumbersome in Google Sheets. You could use insert image. However, in this case, the image would just float and not stay in a cell. I use the image function instead. You need to upload the photos to the web and use their URL in order to use this function. It would be ideal to do that in Google Drive. As Google Drive does not provide direct URLs, however, I choose Google Photos instead. Just copy the URL of the photo and paste it into the sheet. A table with all your student grades is quite cumbersome to use when you would like to discuss grades with parents or students. With a little bit of tinkering, you can create a database-like report for single students. I use the transpose function to pull in headers from other sheets, like grades and notes, and create a drop-down menu with data validation and match the data with the index and match functions. In case you have never used these functions before, I would like to refer you to the sample sheet or to my G-Learning blog where the setup is explained in detail. You can also download the report as a PDF file and email it to your students or their parents. You can also save the PDF file in your Google Drive. Using pretty much the same formulae, I can conveniently create a seating chart. All you need to do to place or move a student is to choose the name from a drop-down list.
Unfortunately, photos do not show up in the Google Sheets mobile app. So in case you would like to use the seating chart on a mobile device in the classroom, the simplest option would be to download it as a PDF file. Last but not least, you can use your gradebook to inform your students about grades using one of the many mail merge scripts. I use AutoCAD, which you can install as a free add-on in the add-ons menu. AutoCAD lets you set up a document with tags and merges it with the data from your sheet, which you would like to use. Once you have been through the setup process, you can simply reuse it by running merge. Autocrat creates the documents in your drive and sets the sharing rights and sends email to your students. That's it for this episode. You can find detailed tutorials for most of the processes described on my G-Learning blog and more video tutorials on my YouTube channel. You're also welcome to comment on the video if you like it or if you have suggestions for simpler ways of doing something.